What's up, guys? Welcome back to Weekly Warfare. We are gearing up for our final match of the night. It is the final match of the tournament. Yeah. And we have an equipment malfunction. That would be a fail. One of our players cannot join the lobby. We have 17 people in the lobby, but number 18 <laughs> cannot make it in. And, <laughs> and he is one of the a eight that we need to make this show happen. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's always been one of the problems with online, just the connection. Uh, you know, people still playing Walmart, and they just need to get out before the store closes. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> we're in New York City, fiber optic connection. Big Let's pimping go. out the internet over here. Yeah. We're running like freaking 300 up, 300 down. What Step do you know? your game up, Nebraska. <laughs> Honestly. Um, Step your game up, Ohio. So I just wanted to come oh. back on air and give you guys that heads up. No offense, Nebraska. I love your corn. Um, and Hoosiers. <laughs> great, great movie. Um, should we fill time? Should we go to more commercials? Let's talk. Actually, you know what we should do since we're waiting? Why don't we talk to the, to the chat, even though we're four minutes, four ahead minutes of them? delayed? Yeah, we also made some improvements to our streaming we so did. that the opponents cannot see each other's screens or yeah. hear what's going on live. We put a four minute delay here. So you are hearing this four minutes after I say it. Four minutes. We're in the future. Jesus. And uh, funny thing is that if you stream, uh, ultimately, they're going to see it because you're not four minutes behind. So that's probably why, uh, you know, some people may see certain things that they don't need to see. Just a heads up. We're four minutes behind. Oh, so, so. I'm, 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 I'm listen. Listen here. This is my show, baby. Hey, you all that sharp right now? I'm yelling. Well, sharp knows I hate him. So I'm kidding. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love that guy. No, no, no you're no. not kidding. No, I love sharp. I watched your pupils. They did not dilate one bit. What? Oh, come on. Uh, what, you a, like, that was lie true. to me? Like, <laughs> it was like Professor Lightman over here. What is up with this? And notice how I looked at your pupils from here. He did. Yes. Yeah. Because you looked at it from the screen and yes. I totally could tell. This is how I did it. Yeah, nice. You're, yeah. You got a talent, man. Yeah, thank you. You're a fantastic. Do you know what I'm impressed by? What are you impressed the by? The StarCraft casters and how they're able to bullshit and fill so much time for that game. I'm, I ran out of material. It's only been a minute 30. I think we can continue on Nebraska. Then we move on to Ohio. Yes. Talk a little bit about that. Actually, let's talk, let's talk a little bit about, about you, man. So you're going away. So right now it's 8.55. In your world, it is 8.59. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, at, In nine, your world. at 9.20, I need to leave That's this right. venue, hop on a bus because I couldn't get on a flight and drive to Columbus, Ohio for the holidays. What are That's, you doing? I'm actually going to stay in the Bronx, hang out with my, uh, my wife. That's a good move. Yeah, it is actually a very w safe. Move. Wives enjoy it when you hang out with them on the holidays. I know. Wives definitely enjoy that. My in laws are gonna be coming over. Uh, probably play some uh, some Bastion on 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 my PC. Some independent gaming time. Some independent gaming time. Love my independent games. Uh, of course, games to Modern Warfare. And uh, you know, I think since since if I can get my stream set up right, I think I might uh, stream some some pickups like I used to and and commentate over it just for fun. Oh wow! I, I do that. I love I love I love the Call of Duty community. Do you That's play with Robski and Z Ghost. I avoid it as much as possible um, because I want to give Robski, Z Ghost, and MLG Ron R A W N a big shout out for helping out with the show. They are our problem solvers right now, yeah, talking to the teams, the technicians. Also, got to give a big shout out to Conkins, my boy Mike Martin, and of course we have two other GB refs that change out every week. I believe this week we have Medic. Yeah. Uh, so big shout out to Medic. That is Andrew Nolan. Thank you for your help this week. And uh, we also have to give a big shout out to John Perez, a.k.a. The Shadow. The Guys, Shadow. if you play on GameBattles.com, you're smart. It's the best place to play Call of Duty. Um, mm. But also... Appreciate the staff that works so hard. These guys yeah. have been working several hours just to put on this broadcast, and they are still solving problems three hours after. That's right. Starting. You know, I like to give a shout out though to this guy. Me, dude. You don't. You, you commentate Halo, and look at you stepping up your game here. I respect that. You know, <laughs> this, guy, this guy is too much, man. He's he's a trip. I'm One of the best people to work with. You know, I'm trying to get. Call of Duty competitive scene. I'm trying to lift it up here. I think that we have the numbers playing in the game. There's 20 million people That's owning right. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It is a personal goal of mine to elevate console games in general. I think Modern Warfare is currently the title that we have um, the most potential with. I think we could compete with PC numbers. StarCraft broadcast numbers, they're huge. Yeah. Call of Duty numbers last year, meh. Call of Duty numbers in 2012. Let's get this shit going. I, I want it to go through the roof. So spread the word. Spread the gospel of competitive Call of Duty. 
Um, Because we're here and we're not going anywhere. Yeah, absolutely. And we are working with the league operations team during the offseason, trying to do whatever we can to get Modern Warfare on the pro circuit for you guys. Hopefully, uh, we'll be testing out settings. You'll be able to check out the newest settings being used and being tested in game battles. And should we go ahead and plug our next broadcast? Yeah, actually, let's go ahead. Let's talk about that one. All right. Well, our next broadcast, guys, as everyone knows, the holidays are coming up. Everyone will be spending time with their families, including the staff here at MLG and the players. So the next broadcast we do will be in 2012. Golden Boy and myself will be joining you January 5th. It's a Thursday, and we are moving the start time to 7 p.m. And uh, I think it's going to be a pretty sweet tournament because it's only open to the people who love MLG the most, the premium members. So if you have your silver membership or your gold membership, you are eligible to compete in this tournament. It is 35 credits per person, and it is only members. So the first 32 teams to sign up will get a chance to compete. And, of course, Golden Boy and myself will be commentating the final two rounds, the semifinals and the finals of that event just as we are doing this event featuring some kill streaks, which will not be used next week. <laughs> yeah, for those I mean, of you worried. I think that, um, like I said, this was a test run. You know, we obviously just want to see how it will work in a competitive environment. And uh, it's, I would have to say this, you know, it's not as bad as I think a lot of people may have perceived it to be, but I still kind of prefer uh, not having kill streaks. You know, we're actually going to have a pretty good debate uh, when you leave. Um, we're going to have a good debate. Uh, it's going to be myself uh, along with uh, Assassin from Team Optic Nation. Uh, the new Team Optic Nation. The new Nation. Team Optic Nation. And uh, we're going to have uh, Justin Whitman from ESFI, and he's going to be joining us. He's a writer there. Very awesome, dude. Good yeah. articles. Good articles. Very good writer. And we're also going to have uh, someone from the DeSerto community. I think it's uh, OP2 from Team Infinitio. And there he's going to be joining us. And we're going to be talking a little bit about... Uh, the Call of Duty settings from Deserto, what they would like to see in the North American settings. A lot of, a lot of good topics are going to be covered tonight. So stay tuned for that. Also, on our, I believe our next tournament, the one starting jo- uh, January fifth, I believe we're going to try something new out. Casey had Fear and Obey practices yesterday. I watched the full scrim. They're playing with pro mod settings as close as you can get with four v four on the Xbox three sixty. Uh, we are going to be rocking. One forced sniper, one forced SMG. The other two guys can do whatever the hell they want. But from what we saw, I thought it made competitive gameplay almost more enjoyable. It's definitely at the same level, and it could possibly be even more fun to watch because at the start of every game, there is an epic sniper shot, whether it's a hit or a miss. Everyone wants to see that sniping angle. They go for some incredible crack shots. And got to give a big shout-out to Sharp and Judgy from Obey. Juggy. Juggy, Juggy, excuse me. Sorry. I I was just reading that phonetically (laughs) (laughs) from his gamer tag. But uh, he was hitting some amazing headshots there. And the SMG... I really liked the forced SMG because that guy has to get out there early in search and destroy. And that initial SMG battle where you see the two guys sprinting at each other, fighting for that map control. Yeah. Epic. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's actually going to be interesting to see how uh, teams develop strategies over time. Um, you know, I've been saying this a lot on Twitter. Uh, you know, we, I want to see more usage of things like smoke grenades and flash grenades, you know, get that tactical nature, uh, you know, things that we would see in a game like Counter-Strike. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to see that. So let's see if it happens. I, mean, I just got the green light from Robski. He's the bomb, just to let you guys know. And Puckett needs to join the oh, game. Oh, you guys want me to, to watch? I'll spectate this <laughs> Apparently, shit. Apparently, you have to commentate, man. I'm, I'm down for the cause, Robski. Let's go. All right. It is 9.01, so please win this best of five series before 9.20, before I miss my vehicle. Best of five. Best of five. Best, best of five. five. Yeah, so It's going to be a party. So real quick rundown. The game has started. Go ahead, Ron. We have Search and Destroy on bootleg. Capture the flag. Lockdown. Search and Destroy. Arcaden. Back to Dome for CTF, and then we head to Underground for a final round of Search and Destroy. You pumped? I'm pumped. Ooh. You ready? <sighs> I'm just going to talk like this the whole time. Just commentate like this and yelling at the screen is what I'm going to do. Oh, and, and we're going to give Konkins the thumbs up. Can you do that uh, verbally for me, Ron, Ron? A verbal thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Ron, Ron made it aware. He's like, Konkins, we want you to start the game up, and he's there like probably eating uh, you know, some food, his dinner. It's about dinner time. 
Conkins never eats. He only works. Um, to give you guys a quick rundown of what you're going to see in Search and Destroy, we're going to the first to win four rounds in CTF. You want to go ahead and explain that one? Yeah, I mean, uh, basically, CTF is going to be the combination of points from each side. Um, so, uh, and you said, what was it, first to four for S&D? Correct. So it's first to four. So that's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, and then, like I said, CTF will be an accumulation of all uh, the uh, the caps. That's right. And here we go. The best of five starts right now as we head to bootleg for search and destroy. And you know which team I want to start with. The guys who just won our last match against BR. Or excuse me, against, against Team Fear. Fear. It is BR. All right. And now we're actually going to be hopping on board here. I think Cyanide may have spawned in. Okay, there that's you go. That's me being a new bro. Way to fail, dude. All right. Actually, uh, I'm on the bottom squad and uh br is in the top squad so br will be your blue team and uh, it seems like uh team team br i, I think we had a, com a communication fail no never mind we're good <laughs> i thought i saw people jumping back and forth in any case we're going to be looking at parasite now parasite is going to be uh waiting by the platform there he's going to take out vaporate good kill there and parasite's going to just basically going to continue to inch his way into the platform here legend taking out bouncy and just more uh, more peeking in little by little. Oh, Forerunner's going to get the kill there on Parasite. And now it, is, it looks like it's going to be... I can't, I'm not too sure. Puckett, what do you got for the count on your screen? I yep. think it's a 3v3 or 2v3. You know, it looks like it was a 1 on 3 there. And uh, we're going to see him lose. And if you can, let's have you switch over to the Blast Radius team. I now got our boys up from ground zero. Right. And there you see Peroxide finishing it there with the up. Switching Going sides. to work and picking up the first round. Remember, here in Search and Destroy, it is the first to four. And we switch offense and defense every single round. Yep. Right now, I'm watching the guys from Ground Zero once again starting with Parasite. Meanwhile, yep. you have Peroxide on your screen. And what is the strategy here for Black Radio? It's like open. It's just a very aggressive push at the middle is basically what's going on here. Peroxide is going to push right into the anime, see if he can catch someone on that uh, on that little cafe over there. Mutation is going to get a kill on the Type 95 on Legend. Two guys go down for this Team Blast Radius. Uh, and basically now you're just going to see Peroxide rotate around but get stopped by Parasite. Vapurate on your screen. Had troubles last round with lag, and he was lagging out. This time around, no issues. Just getting caught off guard by Mutation and... Let's talk a little bit about Mutation. This is not a new face. No, not at all. It's actually a national champion, if I'm correct. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think this is the same Special Mutation. Signs. I have to always double check. It is Xbox Live. Yeah. There's lots of mutating people on there. Yeah, people mutate way too much on here. So I have to double check that. Um, so I'm pretty sure someone will confirm that with me later on. But if they don't, no biggie. Um, but this Ground Zero squad is actually a name very popular in the beginning of the pro circuit as they had a very great run to the top eight. Um, and John used to be on that roster, uh, which I think is pretty interesting. So uh, good to see the name back. Um, a, few, a few fresh faces. So uh, what's going on on your screen, Puckett? Right now, you know, I'm just watching Mutation to see what he's doing with this Type 95. I like how he's keeping distance here. These guys are just going to be walking down the track side. Meanwhile, it looks like we do have a plant. Yep, we do have a plant, and Mutation's going to get that kill on Vapor with the Type 95. Mutation's going to get taken out right away. Now we're going to see Forerunner rotating around. He knows that someone else is alive. It's Parasite. It's There's the Ooh. one on one and Forerunner, excuse me, three on one. Forerunner's going to win that one. No one there to attack. This is easy to fuse. Forerunner's going to pick up the win. Yeah, that was actually, that was a beautiful drop shot oh, there on that uh, on that top plat stairs. That was good actually one, really, go really good. Yes, and that was going to be 2-1 going into round number four here. Search and destroy for do the we finals. A, do we get a kill cam? No kill cam. No kill cam. No kill cam because it was diffused, man. I know, but I still wanted to see that drop shot. I didn't get to see it live, shot. man. Yeah. I was hoping. That was a wonderful drop. I'm such a freaking cod noob sometimes. <laughs> I'm learning, guys. I promise. All right, here we go. I'm checking out Parasite. You are watching Legend, who went absolutely off in the final round against Fear in the semifinals. This time around, he's not using the assault rifles. He switched it up to the SMGs. 
Yeah, and his sensitivity is actually pretty high there. He's even turning pretty quick. Uh, you know, for some players, you know, high mutation in this game is great since it's more of a, a Twitch-based shooter uh, on console. But, you know, you, you do see some players like myself, I like to prefer a lower sensitivity. Um, but it seems to be working in his favor. So he's been doing work this whole tournament. He's going to be taking some shots on the right side, dropping down, getting taken out by Mutations Type 95. And now Peroxide is going to be in the street waiting for Mutations to poke his head out and hopefully try and take him out. Barely surviving that grenade. Now getting an Ooh. angle, but he is going to get crapped on by Mutation. Time. Here's a kill cam for your face. Mutation taking the fire from the left. I don't think so. In the air, catches him. Nice body shot, finishing the kill. That was actually a very, very, a very good awareness there by Mutation. Uh, he just... He just like, felt it, you know what I mean? He, he, he came up strong there on the jump, and, you know, it's unfortunate, but, I mean, you got to make those shots. You know, you have to make those shots. And That's amazing reaction time, and you got to give props to the Astros there. Hearing that in the left <laughs> ear, fire, <laughs> turn and crush. <laughs> And now we're going to be on board here with Vaporade. Vaporade's going to be at the top platform, waiting for someone to poke his head out. We're going to see two guys go down for Blast Radius. And uh, Mutation is really holding down that train side well with that uh, Type 95. Yeah, absolutely. If we could check out Mutation in the next round, it is now 3-2 to two for Ground Zero. And they're going to look to close this one out. Check out Bouncy. Nothing but side shots there. Just just below the track. Just below the track. Just below. <laughs> All right. So do or die round here for Team BR. Blast Radius needs to go big. And you're going to need to hit B out. Lennox, if we could check out my screen as we head on board with Mutation. He's been doing work all game long. Already dropping seven kills. He's only died in two of the rounds. And now you see him once again getting a nice angle. His teammates already picking up the kill though on Peroxide. Legend goes down as well after picking up the kill on Striker. Mutation with the angle will clean up Vapurate. Bouncy's gonna pick up a kill. So here is the easy defuse. Yeah, I mean, pretty much that side that uh, Mutation's running on underneath the track, it, it's just so evil. Uh, you know, the way that he's holding down that side, and the Type 95 is one of those weapons that, you know, when you lock down that side, it's just next to impossible for you to make that move. Um, and it seems like, uh, I believe, Ground Zero will come up on top with the W here, as it will be... Uh, game number one in this best of five series for the finals and we're gonna just jump straight ahead to the next game Which will be CTF what map? Uh, CTF's coming up next, but real quick. We got to talk about the the stats here mutation eight kills only two deaths on the other side though Zero kills out of evaporate six wow. deaths getting shut out in that game. What was happening? It seemed like he may have been their bomb guy uh, for like a few portions there or maybe making a few stops on the bomb. I don't know because he does have some points on the board. Um, but I mean, really, in Search and Destroy, you got to get a kill no matter what. Uh, you know, you have to contribute to the team some way. And obviously, Vaporate was not doing that. Um, so that's unfortunate. But you know what? It is what it is. I just called you out. My bad, Vap. <laughs> 